I want to show you how to make a butter pound cake. And this is a different way or a different method of making cake. It's not your common creaming the butter and sugar method. This is a very easy recipe and just follow it exactly. Crack six eggs into a bowl and these are room temperature eggs. And along with these six eggs you're going to need six tablespoons of room temperature milk and we're going to beat the eggs and the milk together. And this is a butter pound cake, so this is not going to use any other flavorings. Because a traditional pound cake recipe doesn't have any other flavorings. It's just butter, sugar, eggs, flour, and that's it. But this has baking powder. <coughs> so here in this bowl, I have 300 grams of sugar, 300 grams of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of baking powder. We just throw it all in the bowl together. I just want to mix it a bit to make sure all the dry ingredients are combined. In goes 185 grams of room temperature butter. You can use margarine also. And you want it to be very soft. And as you see how soft this is going in. This is very extremely soft. You want it as soft as possible. But don't heat it in the microwave to soften it. And then what we're going to do is pour in have of the egg mixture and we're going to beat it to stabilize it. Okay, so now I'll add half of the egg mixture. Then we're going to beat this for two minutes. If you're using a handheld mixer, you may need to beat it a little longer. So exactly two minutes, I'm going to beat this. Well, first we're going to beat it on low speed first to, to combine it. Now that it's together, we're going to beat it on medium speed for two minutes. Okay, it's been two minutes. And of course, if you do not have a mixer with a scraper attachment, you may need to stop to scrape down the sides of the bowl. And you do want to beat it for this long. In most cakes, you don't beat it this long, but this you have to because there's no creamy method, and this is what helps stabilizes the batter of the cake. So I'm just gonna just do a quick scrape down. Now what we're going to do is add the remaining egg mixture and two more additions. And now we're going to add in a half of that remaining mixture. It's not very much, but... So now, mix that. last remaining of the egg mixture I'm going to beat this for about 30 more seconds on low first and then 30 seconds on medium
you'll be able to find the measurements of this recipe on my blog. I did double this recipe because I'm going to use a bump pan. If you use the original recipe for a bump pan, it's going to be a very small cake. And it's originally written for a loaf pan. But since I'm using a bump pan, I doubled it. Give this a quick mix just to make sure there's no raw bits of flour. And just pour the batter into the pan. This is going to go in a preheated 350 degree oven. This is going to bake about 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes. The recipe calls to use a cake tester or a toothpick to see if it comes out clean. I don't do that. I just press the top. If it feels a bit spongy and it doesn't feel doughy, I know it's ready. And that's just from the experience of making. Okay, shake the batter around a bit. And now this is going to go into the oven to bake. Okay, the pound cake is ready. And as you see, it's this is how I tell. If it springs back up, I know it's done. And I did test it. And it's normal for your pound cake to have cracks on top, so don't freak out. And I'm going to let this cool in the pan for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to flip it out and cool it on the rack and let it cool completely. Okay, so I have this glaze here that I made. And you can just find a vanilla buttercream glaze and just drizzle it on top. And I baked this for about... 48 minutes. That's one of the things I didn't mention. And it don't have to be perfect. You can just kind of smooth it on there and just allow it to drip the time. And this part is totally optional. You don't have to use the glaze. Okay, and that's it for the pound cake. I hope you guys try this recipe and enjoy it. Please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Remember to live and be well. Do all you can to stop all bullying and abuse. Thank you for watching.